first, if you haven't been to the mansion to eat or stay the night, you really need to come. You just do. Now, when you do, you need to meet Chef Gear Killen and his staff and taste some of their St. Patrick's Day classics. First up, the corned beef and cabbage mansion style. We're gonna finish up with Sobe sauce. Uh, that's a not a traditional item to put on it, but it is a fantastic answer to, to, to blend all the flavors. Oh. Now, Chef Gillen tells us the food is the traditional recipe, but at the mansion, it might just taste better. Here's why. There are a lot of classic dishes that we often take and using ideas for and tweaking them. But in, you know, in the process, we are, we are fine-tuning them, uh, making them more current, using uh, cooking the items less, having more nutritional value. Now, Chef Gillen tells us that you might have had corned beef and cabbage and didn't like it. But he says if you didn't like it, you really should try his. It is less salty. It is fresh and delicious. Another mansion spin on a beloved Southern classic is the mansion's shrimp and grits. Now, the truth here is that this reporter and his photographer sampled and loved these dishes. They really are great. Chef Killen says what he and his staff here do for St. Pat's is they have some class and they make sure they put quality first. That's just gorgeous. Now it tastes good and it looks good, right? Everybody's celebrating it here and it's going to be, I guess, pretty wild in town. Um, but it doesn't matter. The quality still got to be great here. Uh, no matter how wild it is, um, we still got to maintain that, that quality. And that they manage very well. At the mansion, Tracy Haynes, WSAV News 3.